Morning, yes we are still here on our Scottish road trip through the Highlands and today will be the most challenging and exciting day of our lives. We are climbing Ben Nevis. Yay! <laughs> You've uh, been so worried all night haven't you? I didn't really sleep much, I kept thinking about mountains and stuff. <laughs> I, mean, I am really excited for it though. You are and I you am. must feel a bit more reassured seeing just how busy the car park it's is. It's really busy considering it's October but obviously Ben Nevis is dead popular isn't yeah. it? So. I'll be fine. Can't you will be. be. Uh, Saturday morning, uh, last night we did stop in a travel lodge at Fort William. Beautiful location. I would have liked to have seen more of it. Yeah, we just yeah. didn't have time by the time we checked in and stuff, did we? No, and we wanted an early night. We got up about half six this morning, so we've been up a while just getting prepared, really. Uh, shortly we're going to get kitted up. Um, we are by no means experienced walkers. We have, however, completed the third highest mountain in the UK, uh, Scaffell Pike in the Lake District. So I've got yeah. every confidence that you can do this one. I did that in August. Um, it was nice weather, was it wasn't it? Two years ago. Yeah. And it was absolutely boiling, <laughs> and it was a struggle with just with the heat and the weather, but. Today, obviously, it's a lot cooler, but I've got my mountain jacket. Funnily enough, uh, Scaffold Pike was actually going to be our first ever vlog on the channel <laughs> yeah. just before we went to California, but uh, the battery died halfway up the I mountain, know. so we never finished it off. But yeah, that was that's great. That's just under a thousand meters. It was very challenging, but we did it. Uh, ben Nevis then is 1,345 meters, so it's going to be. A long day, we're looking to do it in around seven to eight hours with stop offs along the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually, we want to complete the set. We also want to do Snowden, which is in Wales. I absolutely love walking. Yeah. And um, we do walk quite a lot during the week and we try and go on walks around our area and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we don't do. We? If you haven't seen um, last week's vlog from the Falls of Glomac, that was a brilliant 15 mile walk we did. Yeah, we had a, a rest yesterday, so we our did. legs have recovered a little bit. Yeah, it was so much, it was so nice that walk, but yeah, yeah I'm just excited for this walk because obviously this is going to be a challenge, but we're going to do it. We're yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. Weather's not too great, but we'll see what it's like once we get going. Yeah, we'll get our waterproofs on, our walking shoes, and we've got sticks as well this time, so at least they'll help you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I forgot them on the last walk, so I definitely need them for this. It's <laughs> more coming down for me just because of my yeah, right it hurt, knee. It hurts, it hurts your legs coming it? down. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to do it though, we'll get to the summit and obviously take you guys with us. We're in the car park, like I say, it was £6 to park your car all day. Not too bad for like a free activity like Ben Nevis. I have read that you can park at another car park down there, which yeah, is free. But it's but more walk. Yeah, it's just the thought of another 10 minute walk at the end. Yeah. And you don't think of it at the time, you're like, oh, I'll be fine. But <laughs> at the end of the walk, you just want to get back to your car. You in do. The warmth. Right, we'll best get going then uh, before we lose any more time because the last thing you want is to be stuck up there when the night falls coming I know. but we, it's early enough we'll get it done i'm sure yeah so join us for the day as we climb ben nevis Okay, so we have uh, started our climb up to Ben Nevis. A couple of facts for you then. So it, it attracts roughly 100,000 ascents a year. Three quarters of which do the path we're doing. Uh, which is, yeah, known as the pony track or I think the Ben Nevis path. Basically the tourist route. Oh. There is a couple of different ways up to Ben Nevis for more experienced climbers, but we're not going to attempt that. There's a pub there, the Ben Nevis Inn as well. Yeah, I'll just spin you around. A little pub at the bottom. Car park was over that way. I didn't oh. see quite a few people are yeah, walking up there. Yeah. I'm it's expect hot already. Obviously, you can see it over there in the clouds. I'm expecting it to be fairly busy at the top, at the summit. Uh, I've seen photos where people have had to wait. Uh, to get to the summit, so we'll see what it's like. Stop raining though. Just it's not that bad now, the weather. Sorry if I sound out of breath, just getting into it. Yeah. 
My legs are still hurting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ben Nevis, uh, apparently, looking on Google means venomous mountain. So, yeah, going to be. Give you a good hop, <laughs> no. But anyways, yeah, we'll continue walking up. Might do half an hour to an hour or so of walking and show you how far we've got. So we've been um, walking about 30 minutes now and the views are absolutely fantastic. Honestly, like it's beautiful up here. It is. It's just starting to rain a little bit now, but I'm boiling. Like I've just- take our water Yeah, piece, I've took it off. Obviously I'll need it once I get to the top because it's going to be freezing up there. There'll be snow. And I'm glad about my sticks because my knee is hurting from the other day. So I do need them. Well, yeah, are you enjoying yourself? I am, yeah, it's nice, lovely. Uh, have you showed the views? What yeah, it's see? just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. You can see there. There's like a kind of, I think it's like a caravan park down the bottom. Yeah. <sighs> just been looking into the history of hill running at Ben Nevis. Uh, since 1895, uh, every September of the year, I think the beginning of September mm. is when they, they do like a, a race <laughs> run off Ben Nevis. <laughs> Which I wouldn't um, do. And I believe since 1984, the record has been held by Kenny Stewart of the Keswick Athletic Club, who completed it in one hour and 25 minutes. That's crazy, yeah, isn't it? That's from the football ground somewhere down here. It's just mad. crazy. Like, I definitely yeah. couldn't do that. There is some extremely fit people out there, and you know, well done to anyone that can do that. Yeah. I can't, but I'm going to attempt. Obviously, I'm going to do this to today, top. and I will get to the summit. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to continue on, and we'll show you some views once we get to the next point. I love little mountain streams like this. Just so natural. Yeah. Goes all the way down there. I love the sound as well. I just love nature, like the outdoors. Yeah. It's just beautiful, like all these mountains, and like if you look at all of the clouds, how low it is. It's amazing. You see the river down there at the bottom? Yeah. It goes all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, I love the mountains on the uh, Falls of Glomac Walk. It was such a so nice pretty. walk. I know we keep saying it, but it was beautiful. And I definitely went, I want to come back to Scotland and do like a log cabin. Yeah, and there's like so white, much to do. Like water rafting and things. Yeah, there's all, there's all sorts. And there's also like reindeers you can go and meet, um, which, which would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. But there's so much we need to do. And definitely, re <laughs> definitely be returning to Scotland. Yeah. yeah, really enjoying this walk so far as well. Continue.
nearly smashed the camera, just fell off the rock. <laughs> we nearly had no vlog from today, but luckily it's fine. Stacey wasn't too pleased with me. No, no, no. <laughs> just want to show you these beautiful streams coming down the mountainside. Oh, slipping. Yeah, the rocks are a little bit slippy today. See, I am using the stick. I mean, I haven't seen too many people with them. I could take or leave it, to be honest, but for the likes of Stacey, who are a bit more nervous about slipping, uh, stick, uh, the poles, I should say, are brilliant for walking, so I would recommend uh, taking one with you. Yeah, let's continue anyways. Luckily, still filmed this vlog. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me He kept walking on down the road And I watched him dance. How are you coping, Stacey? Oh, it's hard. It's You're just doing so, brilliant. It, just because it's so slippy, obviously in the summer it would have been a lot dry, but yeah, yeah. Just, I keep slipping. Sorry if it's a little bit windy. Just there uh, came to a point there, there was a signpost for the Ben Nevis path. Uh, basically, there's two different uh, paths you can take. I'll just spin you around. Look at that uh, yeah, so we took a sharp left which is apparently a lot easier and safer but people are heading up going straight on there and you can see like ants now going into the clouds which is where we're going but if, if you can yeah if you took if you take that left at the signpost brings you around here and then you can see there's quite a few people going that way as well obviously you all end up at the same point at the summit but i think it's just easier uh, taking that left that way looks honestly so hard but no, it's uh, we're going, it's going well at the minute. I'm I don't, over. Yeah, you haven't cried yet. I don't know how far we are up. Uh, I don't want to know. We just keep putting one leg in front of the other. We'll and get there. Eventually, we'll get there. Yeah, we're going to have food shortly, have a little break, yeah. continue up Ben Nevis. I took out an lovely view up here. Didn't even realise there was a lake on the ascent but and look how like small the trees are and uh, there's absolutely loads of people doing it. You can see people making their way down and there's people even still climbing it all the way at the bottom there if you can see. We're going up into the clouds now. Yeah the weather's fine at the minute but we've just been speaking to people coming down who have said there is quite a lot of snow at the top so good job we've got our uh, waterproof and yeah. scarves and I stuff at the moment i'm not even joking i'm absolutely boiling I've yeah my jacket off. i'm really warm i'm not cold at all no but uh, yeah people have been uh, lovely on this walk. they're all helping each other motivating yeah, it's really nice. Loads of dogs as well. Yeah, loads of dogs climbing Ben Nevis. I, th I believe there's a waterfall somewhere as well. Yeah, well, yeah, getting higher.
feel the temperature changing now. Yeah, and we've lost the path as well. Yeah. That was the end of it. This is the dangerous pit of me. <laughs> really full of stones. We're losing the view as well. I think it's here we're just entering the clouds. So I think just been speaking to someone, I think we're just past halfway. I think so, we are. Yeah. yeah. And he said uh, quite a lot of snow at the top as well. So I'd make the most of this view before we lose it. Well I can't see anything now anyway. I know exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and I'd like to show you. Where's the path gone? Oh, it's all rocky now. So this is really where the walking poles do help. But yeah, maybe we do get some more path. I'll see as we head up. God, so far still to climb. Great fun though. Got a friend behind you, Stacey. <laughs> struggle to fly though. Oh, it's raining. Oh. Doing well? The poles help, you know. They honestly That's do. what I said. Seeing loads of people with them. Yeah. We are getting there. Uh, strength to pull yourself up. Yeah. Oh. Just got to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seeing loads of people come down now. Nearly there. been speaking to somebody who was on his way down and said he only reached managed to get to about 15 minutes before the summit apparently it's really bad up there really heavy snow slippy but we're doing so well Stacey bless her you're doing great yeah I hope we get to the top I mean what I yeah, know, there's been, been some people running it. To be honest, I feel great, like, I can keep going. It's, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, I hope we get to see the summit because apparently for 400 miles, it's the highest point before you reach the Scandinavian mountains in Western Norway. Yeah, at the summit, there's a, an abandoned observatory, a shelter for people caught in bad weather. So it'll be nice to see, but according to that guy, really bad but yeah gotta keep going camera have died so I'm not having much luck with the camera today. Seeing our first signs of snow. Look. It's only gonna get worse. Yeah. Yeah the rest of me is fine. Yeah.
hell, God knows what we look like when we've done it. Took around four hours, which is what we were expecting. Because of the snow as well, yeah. we would have took less without this. I would say though, I think Scaffell Pike was a harder walk. Um, much more steeper. This had quite a like a quite a steady incline, yeah. but uh, it's the snow and, and the, the sleet and how cold it is. Yeah, <laughs> we're at the summit then. So you've got the world's the world's highest. Is it the world's or the UK's? The world. Yeah, it's the world's highest um, war, war memorial. memorial for World War Two. Yeah. Um, and also as well, I think it was around 1894. Yeah. I don't know because my phone's gone dead. There was a hotel up here. Um, so which was crazy, crazy it was run by two it? sisters in the summer months just in the summer months but there was a hotel right across here imagine staying over yeah. so we'd come here we'd check it out sure we'd have to walk all the way back down as you can see there's also the remains of the observatory and apparently in 1911 a Ford car drove up from Ben Nevis to the summit whether that's true or not I don't know it's just what we were reading oh, yeah. oh, oh. Ooh, slipping <laughs> Take you over here. Yeah, I'll show you how deep this snow is. Look at those footprints. It's crazy. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time up here and then see make our way back down. One I would say though once you're actually up here, it's nowhere near as cold. It's like stopped raining and snowing. There is quite sheer drops over there though, so you do have to be careful. You're not going any further. I know, uh, sorry if uh, the camera's shaking. <laughs> I'm just holding it in my hand, I don't have a handle or anything. Let's get to the highest point then. Which is just up here. Can't come all this way and get to this part. There we go. Highest point for 400 miles. Crazy. Little shelter there. Stickers and stuff. Might check that out. <laughs> Make our way back now. What a great achievement though. Really proud of ourselves. Won't try anything on the way down obviously seeing the walk, we get to the car, uh, get to the next travel lodge, and yeah, then end the vlog, and go forward to the day. What an experience to be here on the summit of Ben Nevis. So it's quite a few hours since we've come down the summit of Ben Nevis. <sighs> We are absolutely exhausted. Yeah, as you can see, we've drove to our travel lodge. Oh God, I feel a state yeah, now. I'm Need so to tired. take all this makeup off and sort my hair and have a nice shower, but I'm freezing. I'm so cold. We did it though. We Just did. Just want to reflect on the day, really. Going down then, <laughs> it took us around three hours. Uh, you said it was probably harder it were. than going up. Uh, like, I thought it were. I thought it was a bit easier going up but <laughs> I think your legs were starting to turn to chilly yeah because obviously we've done that other walk the other day and um, that was 15 miles yeah day off yesterday and then this was 10 miles so my legs at the moment are quite in the solid <laughs> but they're killing yeah so I absolutely loved it though I feel so like just accomplished. yeah accomplished yeah. and it was such a achievement to do it, it as was, well yeah. um at the time you don't think but once you're up the top and you get to that summer it's it was just, just amazing such a sudden change in climate as well the weather like as we came back down uh, once you leave the snow the sun came out <laughs> and it was just a normal day again yeah, but up there it's a blizzard isn't it's it it's like a different world yeah. up there isn't it but we met so many lovely people as well yeah. everyone was like motivating you seen people drinking like cans of um cider and stuff on the way down a woman had a gin and tonic like yeah. a little celebration there was that lady we met who her husband yeah, only made know. it halfway yeah. up, bless him, and she had to go up all on, all, all, we, on her we own. We helped him out of there. Though. Yeah, and yeah. it was nice to see her, but yeah, it was just, it was so, it was really good, wasn't yeah, it? I really was enjoyed it. Fantastic. Uh, 
such a great day, yeah. one of the best achievements of our lives. And yeah, it just makes us want to do even more. Obviously, we want to complete the trio now yeah. and definitely do Snowden. Uh, would you say Mount Everest next? <laughs> yeah. No, we won't be able to do anything it, honestly, like that. Honestly, it's crazy. Obviously, I know it's not the, the big, by far the biggest mountain in the world at all. Like 1,345 metres. There's mountains out there well in the seven and eight thousands. Yeah, like. but I think because we did it in October, the weather conditions yeah. really made a difference. If you do it in, obviously, when it's dry and sunny, I think we would have been straight up there. Mm. But honestly, coming down, it was just full of ice. We were sliding down, yeah, weren't it's we? it's fun getting down. <laughs> yeah, what a great day, though. Absolutely knackered. But. Yeah. Uh, we've we've loved this entire Scot oh. Scottish trip, um, our road trip. Make sure you check out the playlist. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous vlogs, we uh, went to Landmark Forest Adventure Park for our first ever visit. That was great. Yeah, we also, like as we mentioned earlier, did the Falls of Glomark. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's been such a good week and. Considering we were meant to do other stuff, I've been so surprised and yeah, so it's, happy it's, that I've, I've honestly had such the, way the best things week. Work out. Like, we were meant to go abroad, but you know what? Well, it's been brilliant. I'm not bothered. Seeing so, uh, beautiful yeah. Scotland, we've done so many great things. Got a M and D's uh, Dark Tober Anarchy Halloween event tomorrow as well. That vlog will already have been on by this one, but yeah, it's all in the Scottish road trip playlist. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed these uh, past few vlogs. Yeah. Coming up on the channel, not too sure. Uh, obviously, by the time this has gone out, it'll be getting towards Christmas. Oh, God. We yeah. haven't done any Christmas shopping or anything no. yet, have we? No. We need to start that soon. Yeah, but obviously, it's been a tough year for for everyone, everyone uh, vlog wise I, I know it hasn't been the greatest we've obviously done our best loads of events have sadly been cancelled but here's hoping for <clears> a much better 2021 yeah just for everyone in general hope everyone's yeah. keeping safe and well um and we will see you in the next vlog whenever yeah that what, might be. whatever it is something will be on the channel soon so stay tuned yeah as mentioned get us on uh, facebook uh twitter and instagram if you just search tom and stace uh, like comment and subscribe on this video if you did enjoy it and yeah we will see you in the next vlog Bye.